More than a decade ago, Joanne Arnold started getting up well before sunrise and heading to the Portland waterfront nearly every day. Her only companion was her camera. The light at dawn is just stunning. And you see things at that time of day, literally, that you cannot see at any other time of day. It, they just don't appear as they appear at dawn. The water, buildings, piers and boats, what looks average during the rest of the day becomes incandescent at sunrise. Arnold caught those golden moments. Day after day, month after month, at the same time of day and walking the same kinds of streets, you were running into the same people a lot of the time. Who were these folks? One population more understandable is the working waterfront population of fishermen and lobstermen and people related to the fishing industry. Bam, certainly got to know them too. But there was this other population that I didn't know at all, and it was the unhoused population of Portland, Maine. And they, they were evident, they were in the landscape as much as the fishermen. The first photograph you ever took of one of the people who had been out on the street was someone who asked you to take the photo and really almost thrust his head in front of you, right? I still don't really know who it was, but he, he saw me with my camera and he wanted to be photographed so badly. He just, it was a direct ask, will you photograph me? And that was it. He didn't want to talk. He didn't want money. He didn't want a cup of coffee. He didn't want anything. He just wanted to be seen in that moment and off he went. It was for Arnold a moment of profound connection, one that prompted her to start talking with the people who had no place to call home. In time, she started taking photos of many of them, which changed her life. So it blew away my assumptions, <laughs> to be concise. It blew away my assumptions. What Arnold found was that many people who lived on the streets of Portland were very open to being photographed. Once they had talked with her and realized she wasn't going to shun or label or criticize them. They drop the veil. They, instead of projecting a persona or photographing the idea of homelessness, they allowed me for some blessed reason to be able to see who they were. That's not my ability, it's what they provided. The camera comes out only after a relationship has been built. When I show up, there's probably going to be a coffee card and there's going to be some clothing and there's going to be water if they're thirsty and there's going to be a coat if they're cold and blankets and it's not just me lots of people have supplied these things but it's built on relationship and then permission may i photograph now may i do that because there's lots of reasons why they might say no and i'm going to respect every one of those what kind of an impact do you hope your photos will have in the larger community. Do you think that they're going to effect some kind of change? I'm not out there on a mission to fix anything, but to connect to a group that is generally shunned and thought little of and criticized and judged. Well, excuse me, but I think the whole world needs a little bit more work on that. When people look at your photos and then ask you, well, what can I do to lend a hand? What can I do to help some of these folks what do you say? They can provide socks, for goodness sakes, um, money to purchase coffee cards, uh, winter coats. You know, there are real pragmatic things that will help this population. The other thing is to just hesitate condemning them unilaterally. Just hesitate. That's, that would be a big deal. If you can just hesitate from condemnation I think we could go, we could make a lot of changes in our world. You yourself have been in quarantine for much of the last month because someone close to you had COVID. So you haven't been able to be out on the street. And you were telling me, as we started our conversation, you miss being out there, don't you? I really miss the connection. These are people that have meant, uh, have become uh, friends. They have become people I love. And yes, I do miss them. I miss them a lot. And I'll be back. <laughs>